Hi, and welcome back to Beyond the Scenes with my co-host, Melanie Query, and I'm Andrea Speck. Uh, thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, geofencing and what is it and how is it working, and uh, there's different types of geofencing. You know, this is a buzzword that uh, people are hearing more and more about. Uh, interestingly, I was in uh, Ocean City, Maryland, and I was reading the, the paper there, and they were talking about the executive director, and he had actually referenced specifically uh, geofencing areas f where there are air shows so that people will come to the Ocean City, Maryland air show uh, because they went to the other air shows. So that's an example of geofencing. So that sort of made me think like, wow, this is really getting out there. And a lot of people do uh, understand a little bit more, but we wanted to just maybe clarify some of the aspects of geofencing and what it is. So there's two different types. Uh, maybe you can uh, uh, jump into the second one. I'll talk about the first one. So the first one is called static geofencing. And what that means is we take an area of land and we put a, a line around it. And then as you enter, we know that you're entering because your phones uh, have GPS in it and we understand where you are located uh, through apps um, that uh, take your data and actually uh, sell it to third parties. Uh, and uh, take that data, we can actually know exactly where you're located because of those apps that do that. And, and with that being said, once you're in there, we can then serve you ads for uh, display and for video. So image ads or uh, video ads in browser or in app specifically. So it's not gonna be one of those like crazy pop-up ads that come up on your phone out of nowhere. Like it's not intrusive, but uh, once you go into that zone, then you are eligible for, for that. Um, and the cool thing about uh, static uh, geofencing is that you can do another aspect of it, which is more like event geofencing. So do you want to go into the event geofencing with alongside that plot of land? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, well, static geofencing allows us to draw a fence around a specific area or a place or a thing. Uh, event geofencing allows us to actually target different events or uh, static locations, but during a certain time. So for example, a restaurant. So if you're a high-end car dealer and you want to target uh, people with disposable income who might be going to a fancy restaurant or an upscale restaurant, we would target a restaurant. And while that restaurant is a static location, we would actually do what we call event geofencing. Uh, based on the time period that someone's going to that restaurant. So typically those restaurants aren't open for breakfast. Uh, they're often open, uh, or they're rarely open for lunch, but they often are open, of course, for dinner. So maybe that 4 p.m. to 10 or 11 p.m. time period, that would then become event geofencing. Event geofencing would also be uh, drawing a fence directly around an event and or uh also doing it at, you know, maybe a concert. That would be a good example where we're targeting a specific place, but when that event comes in and when that event leaves. So maybe you are um, selling cowboy boots and you want to target the big country concerts that are coming to town. We can event geofence those events. So you're actually, you're creating an audience of folks that have gone to that specific concert. So you can get really niche in who you're targeting. So we know that that person who goes to that country concert probably needs their country bling, and we want to make sure that they're seeing ads for the, um, the store that actually sells that. Exactly. So if you're really looking to target a very specific area or a very specific time period of an area, Geofencing is definitely the way to go. It's pretty neat. Uh, definitely something that we do all the time, and uh, we see we see good good uh, results and success with it. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you soon. Thanks.